Hi, this is Pastor Rick. Glad you're with me today here on Sharpen. You know, our devotionals are really designed to give you one thought to think about for a while. Psalms 23 is where we're going to be today. And here's the thought. How do you live in a season you don't understand? How in the world do you possibly survive a season when it's just confusing? And I want to give you one simple <laughs> piece of advice. You put one foot in front of the other and remember something. Psalms 23 says this, the Lord is my shepherd. That's it. While you're walking through a season of confusion where you just can't quite figure it out, just remember who's in charge. The Lord is my shepherd. And here's a promise. He said, I lack nothing in the NIV. I lack nothing. And the King James says, I shall not want. If you really look at, at your life and you get honest, he comes through. It, it comes together. I agree there are times when it's just not easy to see that. There are times when in this job, in my life, in the world I'm in, it can be real confusing, but it's true that he makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He does refresh my soul. He guides me along the right paths for his namesake. And I, I think if I'm really honest and you're really honest, that's exactly been your experience. It's difficult. It can be challenging, but that's what he promises. And then this part of the promise really speaks to me. He says, even though I walk through the, through the darkest valley, and it's really important. He doesn't say you get to run through the valley. You got to walk through it. There are moments and seasons when it's a slow trudge. It's one day, one step, one inch at a time. He says, even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil. I love the King James. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil because thou art with me. Oh, man. So when I'm in a day that's difficult, this is, this is what I pull out. Because here's what he promises. He says, he says, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Which means I know you're going to fight for me. And then he says, you prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Acknowledging that I'm going to have enemies. Acknowledging that there are going to be times when it's really bad. And then he goes on to say this. He said, you anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely this part really always means a lot to me. Goodness and mercy. And, and, and well, in the King James, it says that in, in NIV, it says, surely goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. In other words, he says, I'm not leaving you. And it's, when it's difficult, when I'm having a difficult moment, a difficult season that I don't understand, that's what I stand on. That's what I do. I put one foot in front of the other. And I declare that. Now, it's easy to not declare it. It's easy to allow the darkness to control you. And, and I've learned in my life how to deal with my dark thoughts and my dark tendencies. And they're strong. Every day I get up, I'm tempted to think about something dark, something bad, something I didn't do. And so what I try to do is focus my mind and focus my heart on what he says and doing the things that I can do to make light come into my life but not allowing myself to forget what he promised. Yea, though I walk through dark days, dark challenges, weaknesses in my life, he said, I'll fear no evil because I know you're with me. I'm not going to go astray. I'm not going to lose my business. I'm not going to mess up. God's hands is going is to be on with me. I'm not alone in this. Even if people can't be with me, even if my enemies are around, even if people are talking about me, it doesn't matter. There, there's a part of my life that requires challenge. In order to get to the next place I want to get to, it requires difficulty. And I have to learn to embrace that, put my arms around it and not be intimidated. Some of you are insulting God with unbelief. I want to say that again. You're insulting God with unbelief because in this dark season, now you're questioning him. You're doubting him. But you're not doubting him when he blesses you. You're not doubting him when you got a good job. You're not doubting him when your kids are great and things are well. You only doubt him when things are difficult. Well, that's when you need to believe him. So, when you're facing a difficult time, a difficult season, and you don't understand, trust God. Let me pray for you. Father, let this be a moment when they open their hearts and minds to see the way you see, to hear the way you hear. I pray that this would be a breakthrough moment for them of deliverance and strength. May they release their unbelief and embrace their faith and trust you in Jesus' name. Amen. My name is Pastor Ricky Temple. I pastor Overcome by Faith in Savannah, Georgia. This is what we call sharpen. The goal is to sharpen your life. So you go away, stay sharp, be strong, and remember to trust God when it matters. And that's right now. I'll see you next time right here on Sharpen. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye.